Hello everyone, this is Mizan from Doric. I'm really excited to share that our Airtable integration is ready. Now you can build different type of website using our Airtable integration. You can build a job board, you can build directories. Also, you can show your Airtable data in different type of tables. So let's dive in and see how it works. Right now, I'm on our website builder and you can see i have already three sections ready one for job bro job board one for grid one for table so we are going to add uh, a new element so i have added already section and row and column now i'm going to add a new element you can see our usual uh, elements here at the bottom you will find three elements called the table elements Yartable grid, Yartable job board, Yartable table. So you can uh, guess by the name three with four different purpose. We'll add more elements in the future. So I'll just add Yartable job board. And you can see the job board here with some dummy data. And before connecting to Yartable, we have some default templates for Yartable. So we can easily connect the default fields with the Airtable element. So first, please clone the Airtable templates. We have templates, three templates, one for job board. Uh, you can see job list, one table and one for grid. And I'm just going to click copy base and you can click uh, copy base from your account too, just to copy the base to your account. And I'll just add base. The base is copied. Now we are going to connect our ER table to Doric. So to connect, we need to add our ER table API here. So click on add new API and go to your, your ER table account and you'll find the API and copy the API key from here and then give it a name like Doric test. So we can differentiate between different API keys and click on save the uh, api key is saved and you can see it's already loading our bases so if i click here i can see how my base here doric air table templates it's just picking from here i'll just select the PR table templates and now i can select the template which one i want to use so because we have added job board element here we are gonna use the job list and you can see it's filled with uh, some uh, contents from our year table let's uh, you can see ui ux designer it's coming from uh, here and this logo is coming from this logo is coming from uh, here and we have some configurations like you can sort by name date and other things like salary and other options we have like creation date so you can sort by date too and we can uh, select how many items we want to show per page so i'm gonna give it uh, just like 10. okay so 10 is fine for now and pop-up action uh, i'll show it later but quickly it means if we click on any card like any option it will show a pop-up i'll just show it quickly uh, close it and if i click here and you can see a pop-up came here okay so i'll just close it and open our job board and there's some other uh, configuration like load more button if you want to uh, add a load more button after certain items like after 10 then we can have a load more button with a text uh, let's say see more jobs uh, we'll see it later in the action uh, i can show it quickly just if i reduce the number to two then you can you can see the load see more jobs you can see the button here uh, we'll keep it at 10 for now okay so now we have fields uh, you can see we have default fields like company logo you can see company logo here and also company name here and you can see it coming from this also job title uh, here and content content is the like uh, field which is uh, taking from the air table so you can see we i have different type of uh, fields here and right now it's taking the job title let's say if taking it's taking the 
uh, job title from here if i want to show the company name here let's say company name i can just select the company name here and you can see all the text are changed to company name so i'll keep it as it is to job title same for job location uh, these are default fields we provide them by default with uh, the element you can hide any field let's say you want to hide the job location you can just click hide and you can see the location is gone then we have uh, job tags you can see the tags here and every uh, every field has a style tab just to change the style of those uh, fields let's say i want to change the a style of job text i can come here and i can increase the size of the text or decrease you can see i want to change i have changed i want to change the border color if you want to change the border color you can also you can change the text color i'll uh, i can select the border width i'll make it zero and also we can uh, change the border color as you uh, also we can change the background color i'll just switch it to a little bit uh, bluish let's say like this something so you can change the uh, style of everything here now if you need to add more field we can come here and we can add some custom fields like this i can add some custom field and i can select the type and let's say i want to show the salary range and you can see the salary range is available here and also i can uh, add few more uh, fields if i want also can change the uh, style so i'll just delete it and keep it as it is also we have filter and search we can add enable a search bar you can see the searchable uh, field available here you can uh, enable it to search the content from your table and we can uh, give it a placeholder uh, level also we can select which field we want to search we can search by company name also we can search by job title so i'll select it as job title also we can enable filters and we have different type of filters you can uh, like uh, any any condition match or all condition match if you select any it uh, it means if any one of the condition of the filters match it will show it if you select all all the condition of the filter should match then it will show so i'll just add a new uh, uh, filter and i'll just uh, filter by i'll say job tags so you can see it's showing here i can select uh, any any of this uh, option and it will filter the content accordingly Go to the top like this also we can uh, make it a list you can see you can see it here right now we can uh, do any type of filtering here we can add multiple filter let's say i want to add one more filter uh, i have added one more filter and it will filter by job location and you can see job location available here i can sort by only remote and it, it is it is showing only remote jobs so this is how filters work we can change the style of filters here filters and search style we can change the search color search uh, font size uh, everything available here border radius and other things uh, you can uh, it's like uh, uh, all other fields we have you can change the button style level style and everything also we can change the load more button style as i have shown before there is a load more button we show when there is more content than we have uh, selected so we can show the load more button and style it and finally we have job board style it's the uh, entire job board style like how much gap we want between between this uh, uh items also uh, how much uh, margin we want between this item let's say margin bottom is 40 it will increase the gap between it will increase the gap between the items i'll just keep it at 20 also we have border and radius and we have border and we can let's say we want to give a border like uh, red we can see the border here available and i'm just going to clear it and we can change the radius too i'll keep it white nice also we can change the background well, right now it's white so i'll uh, change it to let's say something like this we can do it too 
so all the uh, customization option is available uh, you can uh, customize the box shadow too there's one more thing we have called pop-up <coughs> you can add you can open open the details of the any item of uh, your table on pop-up let's say uh, you can see already we have available for job description available on pop-up so I, I'm gonna just show it how it works so you come to the pop-up settings and you can turn the preview on so we can see what we are doing and you can see pop-up fields and now you can see I have company name you can see company name here job title job text and job description and each field is uh, like a tied to a variable uh, field let's say job a job description is available uh, coming from job description so if i change anything on the ir table it will be changed here too and we have also an option called sidebar you can see on the sidebar i have apply link then some level and then job creation day uh, uh, creation date and then job location then salary range also we have different type of uh, element type uh, like uh, tags button title image text and level you can use uh, them for different purpose as as them uh, as as you see fit fit your need so finally we have pop-up style how we can change the let's say i want to change the width of this pop-up you can see it's changing i want to adjust the height to reduce or uh, increase also i can i want to add paddings like uh, left right top bottom also i want to add a border or background everything we can uh, change from here also main section style we can uh, adjust this area spreading here also we can change the sidebar we can increase the height uh, width of the sidebar you can see or decrease the width of sidebar uh, also we can uh, uh, align set the alignments and also we can change the finally you can change the close button color if you want to close let's say you want to make it red it's red so this is the basic of how you can build a job board using our air table uh, element i'm i'm just going to publish this site so we can check it much better uh, let's say your table test one I'll just publish the site and you can see it here so you can see the jobs here well, we have five jobs here because our air table uh, job board has five jobs so i'm just going to duplicate this job so we can add one more job let's say uh, year table test job i'm just going to do it and we are not going to change anything we'll just uh, gonna change the title and that's it and if we refresh the page you can see the new job should be available you can see your table test job is available so you don't need to go to uh, toric to change or update anything you can just uh, update your that data on the table and it will show on toric uh, your website uh, instantly without any type of uh, going to doric and publish again or anything and i'm just gonna quickly show other two elements uh, grid we can add the air table grid available here and you can guess it's just card type of style we are gonna select the api key and we are gonna select our template and we can select the grid and you can see we have some elements available uh, content available here uh, we can just configure this to a little bit bigger like six and you can see six uh, cards are showing they are showing the data from here you can see wooden uh, these contents are available here so 
uh, the styling and search and uh, fields are same you can we have default fields and we have custom fields also we have uh, search and filters you can use the same search bar and filters like job, job board also we can change other style as usual we have uh, grid style we can change the margin padding we can change the background also pop-up we can turn on the pop-up and change the pop-up setting as we did on a job board also uh, we have another one called table i'm gonna add one more element here table table and you can guess the design by just dummy data and i'm going to uh, select our api key and i'll just select the template and table and you can see the uh, data is showing from our er table base uh, and your table base uh, and here's that table which is showing the data from so now i'm just going to publish it and if i refresh it will it, it will show all the data you can see all the data is coming here now if i update anything on our uh, base it will update here so let's say uh, our deco base we want to change this text um where's our deco base uh, uh sorry it's uh, on the grid uh, our deco base so i'll just uh plus i'll add a text called plus and if we refresh and you can see our deco base plus so we don't need to go to drodic to change anything uh just initial setup and styling then everything will come from your table and it will come instantly if you face any issues or have any question related to your table uh, please let me know and you can knock us on our live chat too and more videos in details videos will come in the future with your table we will have more element and more uh, customization and everything and more videos will come related to your table thanks for using doric and have a good day.